back to Mountain Prepper. Today we will be looking at my Army Bergen. So this is genuine military. Uh, it was used in the British military and I think it is DPM camo from, it says here, it says from 2003. So it is quite old and it is military, military surplus. Uh, a dad's friend got issued it back in 2003. Uh, uh, so it's not military surplus but it is genuine military so a dad's friend got issued it back in 2003 uh, and my dad needed it for a race so he gave it to him and we've just kept it since so starting from the bottom as normal uh, we have a carry handle sorry if this any of this isn't in shot I can't see the camera um, so yeah so th we have a carry handle right here and then we have strap right here, another strap right here and another strap right here but what's funny is we have two straps right here which are in the same place but then on the bottom we only have one uh, and the one on the other side seems to have come off or just wasn't there in the first place for some reason I don't know why but um, yeah so the next thing we see is this pouch here so this is, has got velcro on it and then it has also got a zip and this keeps it nice and waterproof to carry anything that you need to be waterproof. So this is a nice sized pouch and good for anything like a canteen or a cook set or just anything you need quick and easy access to. This is really really useful um, and we've got again zips going all the way around or zip and a velcro strap, strap on this. This bag is made by Camelback um, for the British Army but I don't know the exact name of the bag or anything like that. So if we turn it on its side you'll see that there is this bit here. So this turns it I think from a 40 to 50 milliliter uh, not milliliter, liter bag um, and we have these straps that need doing up actually to tighten it and we have a zip right here to tighten it and we have got just check uh, yeah we have got these clips right here but the funny thing is I don't know where these clip to whether these are made to clip onto something else, maybe your like uh, belt sort of thing, it could clip onto that, but I'm not sure. So yeah, we've got the zips, the strap, and the clips, and that is on both sides. Here we have on either side of the pouch, we have Molly webbing running right along here and here. And then we have, what do we have? Okay, so we'll move to the top. If we move to the top, you'll see this big pouch going along here. So if you pull this zip, then it opens it up. And this is a really nice sized pouch running all the way along here. And we have molly webbing, more, more, well, another carry handle, more molly webbing, and more molly webbing. And then there is more right on the back. So if we unclip this and this, it opens up the top compartment. And here we have another little or like pouch. This is much smaller than this one on the top here, but it is still useful for any small items. And right here we have the um, like serial code we have when it was made so it was made in 2003 it is a C slash W frame convolute, convoluted DPM IRR cam, camouflage uh, it's rucks then it says rucksack short infantry um, so it is made for the infantry uh, so yeah that's it always has that on a little part, like a little thing right there and these clips 
these are all, everything on this is double stitched so that is really cool that keeps it on nicely so that is good and if we unzip this right here it opens up this compartment so this is quite a small compartment it goes from here to here uh, but it does go up a bit and it does go quite far back which makes it bigger but still not a huge compartment but anyway it's it's good all the zips I should say have got these really nice like things attached to them I don't know what you call them little loops if you say which are really nice to just hold on to it get a nice grip on the zip which is really good and all the zips are really big so they're not going to break here we have a piece of plastic and this is for this rope and the plastic is for cinching your bag up to tighten it and make it nice and waterproof and we have another one right here so yeah that's really useful for just tightening it up and making it nice and waterproof and what you do is you press see if I can get this right okay so you push it up you tighten it and you let go and that tightens it really nicely and on this one you just pull it pull it like that and it tightens it up really nicely so if we unpull this or pull it open then we open the main compartment now this makes up most of the backpack um, and this is really useful for any like your big items so it'll be your tent your rucksack your stove fuel clothes anything like that will go in here so and also in here if you can see there is the frame right here so you pull this velcro unclip the three sort of button clip uh button clip things which are really solid they are not gonna come open by accident because they are impossible to open uh, even if it's not by accident. Oh, I give off. Uh, so here we have the frame. It said on uh, the underneath of the top, it said it was a C slash W frame, and that's what this is. I don't know what C slash W is, but there it is. There's the frame. If you can see that, chances are you couldn't see that, but hopefully you did. Um, so I think that is everything on this side, so we'll turn, turn it over, just thinking what these are for, hmm, I don't know about that, there's a lot of this, about this backpack that I don't know about, so if you know anything that I don't, I'll say this in all of my videos, if you guys know anything that I do not, then please, just tell me because it will make me much better at YouTube videos if you tell me if I'm making any mistakes and it should make the videos more entertaining for you if I learn from my mistakes and make the videos better. So on this side we have more molly webbing here and here. We have another carry handle right here and then we have your shoulder straps uh, which can be adjusted here so you can adjust that we have the sternum strap which can be moved all the way up the shoulder strap to change to whatever you need and then we have the sort of waist or hip strap that is right here and that can be adjusted, adjusted as well this is padded really nicely the hip strap the back is padded really nicely and the shoulder straps are, is padded the shoulder straps are padded really nicely so everything on this is really comfortable and I guess it should be if it's been used in the military they're going to need to carry this for a long distance and um, they're not going to want bad shoulders or anything like that if they're going into a firefight so yeah they need to be nice and comfortable so, is there anything that I've missed? I don't think so. 
we have two more carry handles in case you didn't think that was enough so I guess you could pick it up like that you could pick it up like that um, so yeah oh actually is this what these are for are these actually carry handles or are they for tucking the belt loop in probably not I'm probably just breaking the bag but you could use them if you weren't carrying such a heavy load you could use them to hold that in I'm not too sure what these are for again there's a lot about this bag that I don't know so if you guys know anything that I don't please do tell me because it will make the videos better for you and better for me so yeah that's my review of my Camelback Army Bergen hope you enjoyed the video Thank you for watching and that's goodbye from Mountain Prepper.